that many considered his narrative set, a former first-round pick of the Dolphins who never really panned out. But if one man's trash is another man's treasure, the Titans may have struck gold. Jeff Darlington went to Nashville to see for himself. Tannehill into the end zone, and he scores! Tannehill firing over the middle clock. Was there ever a moment that you started to kind of realize I'm ready to take this to the next level? What's going on? What's different about the success you're having right now? Uh, I think just because I believe in the guys and, and the way that the season's gone. We've been through a lot of adversity, which brought us closer together as a team and, and gave us more belief in each other. There were a lot of we's in that. <laughs> and I'm talking specifically about you right now. Ah, here we go. For three consecutive games, you've got a pass rating above 130 and a completion percentage above 75. There's one quarterback who's done that in the history of the NFL, and that's Aaron Rodgers during his MVP season. Does that not resonate with you at all? I mean, it's cool. I hadn't heard that stat. I think it's it's a reflection of the offense. I know I wouldn't be able to do those things if Derek wasn't running the way he's running, if the O-line wasn't protecting, if A.J. Brown's not breaking tackles and, and making huge plays down the field. Touchdown, Titans! Let's talk about how you ended up here, because it happened pretty fast, right? Yeah. Yeah, crazy fast. You know, I was, I was in Miami. I was still in a contract. They were talking like, hey, we're going to move you, but that was all I knew. Free agency had opened up. I'm kind of stomping my foot and looking at the clock. You know, it's like, if I'm not going to be here, I want to go because spots are filling up. I wanted to be a starter, and those spots really kind of filled up quickly. You know, I get the call, getting traded to the Titans, and knew I was going to be for a backup role. So it was a tough pill to swallow. I went back and looked at another quarterback who played his first 88 game of his career. And every stat is within a fraction of your first 88 games. Do you have any idea what quarterback I'm talking about right now? No clue. Drew Brees. Do you think that 88 games is enough time to make an assessment about a quarterback? I don't know. Every, every situation is different. I know this is a generic answer you're going to hate, but every, every situation is different, you know, so I can't get into comparing myself to, to other players. I know I went through everything in Miami for a reason. The ups and downs and everything in between. Just a lot of growth as a player, as a person, as a man, as a father, and a lot of football. I wouldn't be here doing what I'm doing today if I didn't go through that. What was the most difficult part of the shoot? You're, you're changing roles, you're changing cities, moving the family, trying to navigate how to, how to be a backup, uh, the leadership change of being the voice that everyone hears and now I'm taking a step back and, and not being able to voice my opinions or, or how I see things and you're not playing. And so, you know, you love competing, you love being out there with the guys and, and being in the huddle at practice. Tannehill with his team at the 19. Throwing, intercepted on a deflection, Hurst. Let's talk about this tackle you have here today. <laughs> and he is taken down at the 25-yard line on a touchdown-saving tackle by Tannehill. Can you walk me through what happened on that play? Oh, uh, yeah, so we had a quick screen out to the left. I tried to get the ball around him. Obviously, it didn't happen. Got rejected. Fell into the lap of uh, <laughs> another D lineman and uh, faked it. So things took off running. Deion Jordan is between me and him. Gave him a weak hesitation move, stair step, and uh, he pushed me right in the chest. Ended up running around him, and I was pretty ticked off at that moment, so I just wanted to uh, try to knock the ball out, hit him as hard as I could, and, and get him down, so that's what I did. You know, you, you did have a knee issue, you had a shoulder issue at one point. Like, is this smart? Like, are you, should you be playing like this at this point? Uh, I don't know, I'm just playing the only way I know how, and that's to, to lay it on the line, lay it out there. I feel like if I slide on the two-yard line, I have to hand in my man card and, and, and be done with it. So Dan